Hello, I would like to show you how to do some rational profiling on a piece of code that I got from Joris Damhuis. And it's um, so it's not it's a work in progress code, so I, I don't look too much at the code at all. Um, it's not optimized yet for speed, it's not tested yet, there are things in it. That's all fine, I just want to show how to do a rational um, a rational profiling session. Alright, and I actually already did that. So if you take a look at the commits, you can see what I did. And um, I'll be, instead of doing everything again because my videos crashed, I will tell you what I did first. So first I did, I added a Qt project file because I use Qt Creator and Qt. I added the Travis files and I tried to set things up. Alright, and then I also including the profiles. So I'll take a look at this state of the repository in which I got my first Travis build. And we can just take a look at how it looks. So there's a Travis file in there that uses a correct executable name. And what the Travis file did, I copied it. Uh, you can, I copied it from the Nature Zen GitHub and then removed everything that I didn't need. But it does use the Zenial, the newest distro. And it makes the evolu ecology evolutionary dynamics executable times it then uses gprof in release mode to get a profile how does that look like well just take it go to travis then it builds and makes and runs so there's some, some output that can safely be removed it's not very useful in profiling or in general and then i found out that 100 percent of all the time the function is in calc energy. Alright, so that's a clear indicator of um, what I should work on. So, uh, but I did wanted to make a series to get an idea of where the time would be in. So as uh, you see I used 200, 400, 800 and 1600, 800, 400 again. So there's are multiple commits on Travis. It looks a bit different. Um, well, Travis it looks a bit different because it doesn't didn't work on for example these two commits it, Travis didn't work on it there's, that's why there's no V uh, so here's a V uh, there's no check mark there so on Travis I just made a nice series using N and I already took a look at the code and I thought that N would be uh, the thing to work on uh, because it's the population size. So I have few information about the simulation, but I've strong. So I took a quick look and I saw that this was the only one that was non-linear. For example, uh, the time a simulation runs. Well, I expect if the time is twice as high, if there are twice as many generations, I expect it to run twice as long. So that's the linear dynamics. I'm not interested in those. I am interested in interested in getting the exponential. Uh, time consume like the big O curve down I want to get I want to find those exponentials that if you have twice as much of something then your code runs four times as as fast or four times as slow I should say so that's more interesting uh, you want to change the shape of the curves instead of just moving them down so I found that for population size of 1600 we get a profile in which 60% of all the time is spent in calc energy and 40% of all time is spent in choose resource. And we just um, taking a look if you go through the earlier uh, builds with shorter population size then you see that both of them are in the, the this percentage is the same um, which is, or, or similar-ish like it, it's not a very high resolution uh, measurements yet you should perhaps do more replicates but th when I took a look at the code let's take a look at the calc energy at that time and let's take a look at calc energy because calc energy it looked very special to me so it's in main there was this function calc energy there it is so this is calc energy so if I take a look at that then I see that this is just simply a function that can be made const expert. So there's an S there that is a global. So what I did is I put the S as an argument here and I made it const expert. 
will show you um, where that commit is. So I made it const expert. Here you can see the things I've changed. You see that indeed I put this. I had I called it local as because otherwise you get shadowing of, of variable names. We made const expert and all the function calls to calc mg I put the s in front of it just to be sure not to break anything and then already I got a speed increase and this is not a very interesting speed increase I just want to mention it so here we have 3200 and here we have with const expert you can already see that this is 4 minutes 45 here 4 minutes so I measured also this for a time series and I saw that I consistently got a speed increase of about 20% of all time. <laughs> also the speed profile changes. So this is without the const expert. Without the const expert you see 62, 60% um, is spent with a lot of function calls, that's why I decided to make const expert. Uh, a lot of time is spent in there and it takes 3 minutes 49 seconds. When I make it const expert, I didn't expect any big things. I think the shape of the curve is still the same. But what is nice that it is removed. So calc energy, you cannot find it anymore in here. If you would look for it, it's, it's, it left the top 100. And it Runtime speed change from 3 minutes 49 to 2 minutes 50, so approximately 20 30 percent. Uh, this is complete trivial, but it did clean up uh, the profile. Well, you could say, oh, Richel, 20 percent speed increase is non trivial. Well, I strongly disagree with that. This is a simulation, you've written it on clusters, so that's not a problem. So, but then I decided that, then I saw that, all right, so choose resource is the thing to go. So let's take a look. So, cal so choose resource definitely is the big fish to go for. And there is, if you take a look at the times, you see there's some anecdotal evidence that it may be exponential. So let's take that function. Let's take a look at it. Which, how am I going to do that? I'm just going to go to the commit at that time. And I'm going to view the repository at that time. And we're going to take a look for the function calc re choose resource that's it so if you take a look at that function you see it's big and that is a big problem as well because we don't know what part of the function causes the speed uh, con the speed con the time consumption so we don't know what part of this function uh, takes up the time so the next thing I did is I split it up in multiple functions. So I extracted a long function from Big Fish. Uh, let's take a look at how the code looks like at that moment. Uh, because I don't know much about the code and that's just fine uh, as far as it goes. Like in the end there will be, I, I can't continue anymore. Um, so here we have choose resource and what I did, I extracted this part. I called it choose resources for loop, completely indescriptive name. I have no idea what it does. So I put it here, choose resource for loop, that's what I call it, completely non-descriptive. And I just made it compile and run. If you do that, then at least I have separated my the big function in two. And then I can focus already on, on what's what's left. So if I take a look at the speed profile at that function, then it can either be in the old part or in the extracted for loop part. So I clearly see from the speed profile it's in the extracted for loop part. 97% of all time is spent there. So it probably won't surprise you that I then extract um, that this resource for loop uh, let's take a oh, let's take a look at it again. So I noticed something because then if it's in there, it pays off to go take a look in there and split that up again to zoom in on where we need our profiling to be at. So choose resource for loop. 
it has a part uh, so this is the for loop so a for loop is this is a lin linear for loop and there's no four and a four but if I take a look at so I predict this thing is linear because there's no four in it but I see here another for loop and another for loop taking a quick look at the for loop at energy dot size which is two so I think this for loop doesn't add any complexity at all because it's just a, it takes just once or twice or three times as long it's just a, like a repetition so that's just fine but here so the for loop went over all members of the population and here it again goes as far as I can understand it over all individuals of the population and that makes it exponential so what I'll it's only rational to do to verify this is to extract um, this part and put it in a new function so that's exactly what I did then so how did I call it uh, separate hypothetical non-linear part let's take a look at what I did there and I split it let's browse, browse the files at that time in uh, the code so there's a choose resource for loop else so here we had our choose for loop in which I removed the else part and I put it in another function here again I clearly specified that I have no idea what it does and I hypothesized it would be in here if you take a look at the speed profile for 3300 then I see that I was completely right at 98% of all time is spent in this part alright so and then I can only take a good look but I need more information to get this optimized so, if, so I predict it's in here because well this is the nonlinear part and this is just linear but to have a better picture of how to fix it I need to get rid of all the noise so the first thing I would do is get is to refactor the code that it's as clear and clean as possible for example I see that int is a global is a global vector of vectors of integers probably indices um, but I don't see why it should be global and I don't know what it does uh, perhaps it's already a speed optimization so if it's already a speed optimization well then um, I, I I think it's too early stages to do speed optimization so perhaps it slows it down uh, actually so the first thing to do is to get a clear picture of what is going on uh, for example so, so I think this can be s uh, simplified to one line no idea what it does not important but also see here's something like temp sum j so temp sum that's a bad that's an indication that someone is doing two things at the same time so I predict that whatever this thing does no idea what it does that also at the same time it tracks uh, the sum of, of, of whatever uh, well you can do that at the end uh, it, it's, it's, it's not useful to do all things at the same time no first do all let all your members do A then that then do for all members B and them so then some other energies or whatever but do that one after another instead of mixing two responsibilities at the same time a function should do should do exactly one thing well uh, most of the time so to be able to continue this I need more um, information so I don't think a lookup table would work here I don't know why there's this loop in the loop so would I know would I understand especially this line then I would be able to continue and perhaps come to the conclusion that it cannot be improved that this um, exponential uh, big O that is exponential is just something you need to live with well because sometimes you can't get all your algorithms linear but without some with some more information probably you can but you need more uh, to be sure all right so that's my video um, I hope it was uh, well useful I, I made it a bit shorter or 
or I, I actually did it twice, but my computer crashed. So that's, uh, that's all how to do rational profiling, and I wish you a very good day. Bye.